Step six, we were entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. So just a presence, taking that deep step four of a personal inventory and then sharing that with someone in the step and step five um, may have left you, it left me feeling a little bit disgruntled to use one word. And so um, in step six, we consider what happened every time we put our emotional states in a position of central importance in our lives. Somewhat ironically, we were weakened and diminished, vulnerable to crippling levels of resentment, fear, self-pity, shame, guilt, confusion, frustration, and despair. When focused on our own pain and misery, we lost sight of the broader context in which our lives made sense. So in step three, we agreed to turn our will and our lives and our thoughts and actions over to God, a higher power or service to the greater good. But our self-centered pain and fear held us back. Many of our defects or defaults of character were still living within us. This felt unsettling, even depressing for most of us. What were we to do about these issues? Well, that's what step six and seven are all about. And step six, we consider whether we are entirely willing to face and be rid of everything that has been holding us back. So I like to think of these as either defaults or character traits that are troublesome, um, but in the end they're defects of character um, that we're gonna be looking to give over in step seven. So step six is really inventorying the defects of character that we have. Some of those may be pride, procrastination, one of our group members just shared about that tonight, <laughs> self-righteous indignation, which is really self-pity, all or nothing thinking, that black or white thinking, perfectionism, lust, focusing on our needs, gossip, fixing ourselves, um, fear, um, people-pleasing, impulsivity, I'm sharing some of mine now, <laughs> compulsiveness, intensity, um, extroverted, um, concerned or worried, and this is a personal favorite of mine, not having fun and being a party pooper. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's interesting to take this look at those defects of characters, um, and I don't know, I'm, a, I'm an external people pleaser, so I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I did ask some people that I know close by what some of my defects of character are. And I, and again, defects, defaults, like if those things that you always go to, like I always think I'm gonna eat all of that food or none of that food, never some of that food. I think I'm gonna clean all of the house or none of the house, it's never some. Or I think I have to get it perfect or it's a failure. So I know that those are like my, like perfectionism and all or nothing thinking are definitely my two, if I had to pick two, my go-to things. Um, and I think, um, well, yeah. and I, I think it's really helpful to hear that list. Like, because a lot of time if I hear, okay, I need to pick out, um, my defaults or, you know, those defects that are defaults. Um, but then to go down through the list and I'm like, mm, yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> you know, like it really hits home once again to have a little bit of, um, prompting here and then to be able to go off and expand on that um, which you know perfectionism to a fault is different than wanting to do well like you said mm -hmm. it's like perfectionism based with that you know all or nothing um, that I agree for me all or nothing is a really big piece of it something that um, I wouldn't necessarily have thought was procrastination is a really big one for me. Um, and I always kind of thought of like, well, I'm just a procrastinator. Like, you know, and that's just who I am. And it's like, well, to a fault. Um, mm -hmm. So, and am I procrastinating? Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it perfectly. So like, you know, it they do all build on each other. And I think, um, I think it's helpful to pull those out. But for me, I also think it's easier to say, yes, I want help with these, then even step three saying, I give my will over to God. It's easier to say like, here, you can have my problems <laughs> fix me um, mm -hmm. than it is to say like the good, the bad, and everything in between. Well, I think it's important to highlight that. So the purpose of step six is not to provide ourselves with excuses for beating ourselves up, but to ensure we do not fall prey to the same kind of thinking that caused our troubles in the first place. 
it's enough to list the main issues, but we have the rest of our lives to work on the rest. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just really important. Like, um, it, it just balances the goal, right? So somewhere in between there, like, I will still always be a perfectionist at some point, but how can I, like, rein that into the middle, you know? Um, and I, I just, I find it interesting that, like you said, they build on each other and that these things happen in so many more areas than just the food. Like, when I first started recovery, I thought it was oh, yeah. just about the food, and now I guess in like my graduate studies of recovery, if you want to call it, like it's <laughs> it's it's everywhere. Like it's it's everywhere. I mean, it's it's the shower, it's the laundry, it's the grocery shopping, it's the getting Job. the mail, like everything, work, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's um, parenting, it's career, mm. it's marriage, it's. Um, yeah, it, it goes through everything else. And then, I, like you said, it's not about the food. The food and the behaviors have become a coping mechanism mm -hmm. for this unattainable standard of expectations for yourself mm -hmm. and not being able to stop and say, I do have default or I do have defects. Yeah. Like <laughs> I would have had a hard time admitting that a while ago or like speaking openly about the things that I do wrong. I'd be like, well, you know, I'm not great at this, but, <laughs> you know, it works for me here. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm amazing, but, you know, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't that I would brag about it, but the, the self-talk was very much that way, I think. What Which is, is weird that it can be so, like, I don't know if that makes sense, that I would kind of, like, the self-talk was, was building myself up, maybe to try to fool myself <laughs> into mm. believing or maybe I like to make there. it not feel so bad. I guess. But like she wants to be defective, right? Right. I mean defective toys get thrown away or clothes go to Marshall's. Right. Like it feels it's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it just feels like oh, well, we're all defective. We're all defective. <laughs> what about you guys? I I heard something a couple of weeks ago that I really sort of like. It's not that I have character defects, it's that I have characteristics that can be defective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it takes it from a less pun punishment and punitive type look at it to, in my in my viewpoint, a little more balanced approach. And the problem I have with step six is I never see the good. I, you know, there's this part of me that really wants to be defective. That's all I can focus on. And when I look at, if I look at it as I have character defects, then that just feeds into my self-doubt and my self-loathing. You know, if I have to admit that, okay, maybe there is some good to this particular character trait, then it takes me out of that mindset. And for the moment, it's still really hard to try to find those good sides. Because when I hear perfectionism, I, I want to just look at the bad side of it instead of saying, well, you know, there is some motivational stuff here that allows me to do good jobs mm -hmm. and to do good things as long as I don't carry it too far. Mm -hmm. I, that's how I, I very procrastinate mm -hmm. because if I can't do it perfectly, I'm not going to do it at all. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I, think, I think this inventory is kind of interesting and I feel like a lot of the steps are this that allows me to take a little bit more of an objective step back and remove it like it's not as personal sometimes like to be able to write it down on paper and just kind of put a name to it and say like this is going on it's not the entirety of myself but here's one of the things going on I feel like has been helpful for me not just on this step but on other steps as well to kind of pull back and take inventory a little bit Another piece just to share from the book is that um, we all had difficulty, because this is not easy, right? Giving up our old ideas, even when we understood how problematic they were. The main thing is to see how each of our defects is tied to a crippling degree of self-centeredness. We think we ought to be willing to do everything in our power to rid of it. Yet, when we review the list above that you wrote and ask ourselves if we have ever had, had much success ridding ourselves of character defects through exertion of self-will alone, we can readily see where we have fallen short. It's important to recognize that our defects or character traits will not be removed from us without our own action, yet trying to fix our brain, fi try to fix our thinking with a brain that is habituated to wrong thinking isn't unlike performing brain surgery on ourselves. It can work, 
but it's slow going and not very reliable. We find it far more helpful to turn our attention to what we can productively do that allows us to move in the right direction. Are you ready to give up the awful struggle to be rid of your defects? Are you ready to let your reliance on God, higher power, or higher purpose lead you to a better use of your time and energy? Are you ready to let go and let God? What do you think about? Well, my two, I would say, would be pride and procrastination. Pride because I don't ask anybody for help, ever. Mm -hmm. I can do it myself. I have to do it myself, and I will do it myself. It's just that simple. And I can asking, do it better. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it can only be done my way. And that's like across the board. That's like in the house with cleaning, that's with my business. Did you say perfectionism too, or just pride and procrastination? <laughs> they all I mean, come together, they, right? They do, and yeah. that was the thing, that's what I was gonna say. So, and because I feel like I can do everything on my own, I end up procrastinating with things because I don't wanna ask for help, and then I procrastinate because I get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they do, and I mean, I'm only a perfectionism with certain things in my life, not with everything. Cleaning is one of them. That's about it. Well, it. No. well, <laughs> well, I really have to think about it. There is more. But yeah, I mean, I do think that they all go hands in hands when it comes time to that. And I do think we all have them. I mean, all human beings have these. They're character yeah. traits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, like when they're done to the extreme, when they're done to fault, when they're done when they hold us back from being up to something bigger, that's the purpose. And so... Um, it, again, it's it's not about to give ourselves an excuse to beat ourselves up or to, to it's just being aware of them and simply writing something down on paper. It brings it out into the air and you're like, oh, that's like just driving home. I'll guarantee you, I'll notice how my own nothing thinking or my perfectionism or my you know I'll notice it popping right into place just in the drive and it's like, oh, I just talked about that in step six. That's where that shows up and so it's almost like just shining a light on it and. Um, and feel um, very excited and positive that know that you're not gonna stay stuck in step six for a long time. We'll go on to step seven where we can um, look at some of, like Mark said, the character building exercises to look on these character traits to pull out the positive aspects of all of these things. Yeah. yeah. There's another thing about step six you, I sort of have to look at occasionally is, you know, there's just that one that I'm not really like, wanting to get rid of. Mm. It's still handy, it's still useful. You know, uh, for me at the moment, that's sort of arrogance. Mm. You mm. know, because I don't need to ask for help because I'm good enough, I can do this on my own. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, I, I have definitive proof that I'm not that good. <laughs> Nobody's that good. Mm -mm. But I still like to pretend I am, and so, it's really hard sometimes to be willing to give that one up. For sure. Yeah, I'd like to hold one back. I don't mm. think that's what this stuff's about. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd right. like to hold one back. Maybe I could take step 5.9 <laughs> instead of 6. Right. So. Well, thank you guys for sharing. And if they need resources, where should they go? EdenDesoresAnonymous.org and click on the link for the big book. Also click on the link for the brand new workbook that was posted from the Step Study Workshop in the early part of July. Awesome. Thanks. See ya.